just a few words of who we are, because I think we are a, a company very emblematic of uh, what we are talking today. Uh, the company has been uh, uh, created five years ago, six years ago now by a French uh, um, uh, engineer called Bertrand Schmidt. Uh, he built the company in Beijing. Uh, and uh, pretty soon, uh, it developed in, the, uh, in, in China and also in the, in the US based on uh, the, our first uh, clients were, were the big uh, game publishers and also uh, large uh, social platforms and investors. And then now uh, our main uh, objective is to, and main challenge, is to give um, insight to, to large corporate companies to, uh, to help them to go for the, the next step for, for their digital transformation, which is the mobile transformation. So that's why we decided to open two uh, I'll just go back. Uh, seven months ago, we opened Paris for the South Europe territory and Berlin uh, at the same time because we are really uh, convinced that that's the, the, that's the right momentum now to, uh, to start the business here, but from a global point of view to help a uh, company to, uh, to, to uh, take the right decisions uh, based on a global view and local uh, views. So a few... Uh, words uh, coming from two amazing reports, uh, public reports we released uh, recently in January and February. And I, encourage, uh, I really encourage you to download uh, them from our website. One is the, uh, the Retro uh, 2015, which uh, uh, we look in the mirror and see the trends in terms of, we are going to talk a lot about downloads and revenue, which, is, which are one of our key metrics. Uh, our job is to uh, give uh, and uh, you know to uh, to get uh, all the information coming from the stores, all the public public information coming from the stores, and uh, also from uh, uh, internal data we get. We have built over the over the year, the year one of the biggest or the biggest community of uh, 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 mobile publishers. So we. To give you an idea, we, we, got, we got about one million uh, application uh, uh, connected uh, in our platform, and then we collect uh, information, public information coming from around 8 million uh, mobile apps. So it helps us to give, to give you some uh, really interesting uh, uh, insight. So uh, talking about the very important metrics, one is the downloads, the other one is the revenue, which are kind of uh, uh, directly tied, but not exactly directly. Global trends. So Google uh, still is, uh, is still uh, uh, driving uh, uh, the race in terms of downloads, uh, essentially due to uh, uh, you know the um, uh, emerging countries who are uh, you know, uh, uh, accessing to the internet through uh, uh, cheap uh, smartphones. But in terms of uh, revenue, uh, Apple, iOS. I'm, I'm going to talk in terms of iOS and Google Play. I don't know if you're familiar with that, but App Stores, iOS, Google Play, Android, uh, that's uh, the green and the, and, and the blue. Um, the uh, App Store, the, the, the iOS uh, Store, App Store is, is still uh, um, very important in terms of revenue, and we see how it breaks down uh, country by country or, or territory by territory. Let's have a look. Uh, uh, this this uh, is a very interesting and amazing figures. We are talking about uh, revenue. What is revenue in our words? We are talking about in-apps uh, per check. So that's the uh, amount of uh, dollars or euros in terms of talking about <coughs> dollars, in fact, uh, which are spent by users uh, within the app. So we are not taking into account uh, uh, all the um, advertising spent, and we are not taking into account all the transactional uh, uh, transfer. Uh, but still, we can we can consider that. Uh, that's that's very very uh, uh, amazing. So we start from 41 billion dollars in 2015. Then we are gonna uh, face a 24 percent growth this year, just in in our purchase again on both stores all over the world. 51 million dollars this year, and then in the coming four years, we're gonna double this uh, uh, figures, which is really amazing. And you can consider that we, we probably will have the same amount of money spent on, advi uh, on advertising, and we don't know exactly what will be spent in e-commerce on all the transactions 
but that's pretty huge. Um, okay, and, and uh, another thing I wanted to, to tell you is that the, uh, um, the, 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 uh, the, the spend will be very, very uh, much uh, enhanced by M comments and uh, advertising also. Okay, let's have a look on the, uh, how it breaks down uh, territory per territory. So, um, the, uh, the middle blue is APAC, the light blue is EMEA, and the, the, the deep blue is uh, America. So, what you can see is that more than half is driven by APAC, and within this uh, uh, half, or more than half, more than a half is China. So, you can say, you can, we can say that around 30, million, 30 billion uh, dollars will be, will be generated only by China uh, uh, in, in, in 2020. So, again, let's have a zoom on the uh, mobile industry in China. So, what we can see, and the, the figures are really amazing. So, according to Google, we uh, can say that 74% of uh, Ch the Chinese population uh, had a smartphone last year, which is kind of incredible and which is a really <laughs> tremendous opportunity. Uh, according to China Internet Network, uh, in, in the second semester of uh, 2015, 89% uh, uh, of Chinese internet users uh, had access to the internet through the uh, uh, mobile for the first time. And that's uh, about the same also in, in a lot of emerging countries uh, uh, because the uh, uh, access to the uh, uh, internet through a laptop or through uh, uh, a desktop is much less easier than it is uh, uh, through a smartphone. China is really a, a mobile first economy as we uh, talked uh, a few minutes uh, ago uh, and, uh, and, and they, they really use smartphones uh, as uh, uh, their day-to-day uh, -day, uh, tool instead of the, of the laptops. Uh, I will get quickly on this uh, uh, slide. But one thing is, which is very interesting to, to know about China is all over the world, everything is, is split into Apple on one side and Google on the other side, iOS and Google Play stores. Uh, in China, we don't have Google Play, but uh, they uh, develop uh, do dozens of third-party Android uh, stores uh, which are uh, uh, going to generate a lot of uh, dominant or, uh, all the, uh, the, the downloads and revenue in China. Interesting thing about the, uh, the, the downloads, you can see that China, la in the middle of uh, last year, already overtook US in terms of downloads. Uh, and the trends, the yellow trends, as you can see, is up. Um, and why? Essentially because they, uh, the, the adoption of iPhone and iPhone Plus uh, was uh, absolutely uh, key in this, uh, in, in this uh, uh, growth. Uh, and also um, uh, the uh, phablets, uh, you know, the big iPhones, uh, uh, um, not, the, the, not the tablets, uh, are really uh, key in this, uh, in, in this uh, growth. Sorry for the, for the figures, but they are really, really interesting. So uh, in terms of <coughs> revenue, you can see that the trends are also very, very interesting. So uh, in China, uh, in, in last year, uh, uh, the, uh, the revenue was doubled. And if you look at the trend in Japan and the, in the US, you can see that this year, probably and probably certainly, uh, China is going to have to uh, uh, Japan in, also in terms of revenue and not only in terms of downloads. If you look at the, uh, the, the breakdown in terms of revenue, in blue is the iOS. Of course, we don't have any, gre any green in China. But still, in terms of global revenue, uh, if you take United States, Japan, and China, you've got more than 90% of all the revenue generated uh, within uh, the, the, the stores. Looking at the... Uh, um, let's uh, uh, see uh, how... Uh, Chinese uh, users uh, are uh, behaving with regard to what we call the, the category. Categories, I don't know if you are familiar with that, but we, uh, when we uh, uh, provide our data, we provide them uh, 
either by countries or by categories. The categories are the, the categories you can find on the uh, different app stores. Uh, if you look at China, uh, uh, again, things are quite different. Uh, for example, if you compare to the United Kingdom or in the United States, you can see that, of course, in all these countries, games uh, are still the largest, it is still the largest categories in terms of revenue, even in China. But uh, compared to what it is in other countries or other territories, uh, you can see that uh, uh, the, the, they are less <coughs> dominant in China. Why? Because, uh, and this is very, very consistent with what we said uh, uh, previously about the way they uh, use their um, um, uh, iPhone or, or smartphone, uh, because they use it more uh, uh, than for, for the, the function we use uh, in our desk, uh, with our desktops. So uh, you can see that uh, 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 the social network lifestyle utilities uh, categories are very, very important, and of course all the other categories. This one is, is really, uh, really key uh, uh, in understanding uh, uh, the, the global landscape uh, and how to enter the China uh, uh, market in terms of mobile. Uh, in France or in the United Kingdom, uh, most of the apps you download are uh, coming from external uh, a company with no HQs in, uh, in France or UK. In China, it's totally the other way, the other way around. So uh, most of, uh, uh, it's like 90% of revenue generated in China last year, and it's going to be the same uh, in the coming years probably, uh, went uh, to companies with HQ base in, based in China. Uh, and only six, 16 uh, of the top 100 companies uh, 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 were based outside China. And it's really key to understand that. Uh, if you want to do business over there in the uh, economy. And this is uh, uh, illustrated very well with this, uh, this first line on the downloads, and you can see that the, the, the following one, about the, the revenue is about the same. So if you look on the left side, that's the non-gaming apps uh, on the top 10. Uh, <laughs> 10 are um, Chinese. Uh, of course, Tencent, Alibaba, Baidu, etc. Um, and the, if you look at the games, only two very large companies, Gameloft, the French Gameloft and, and, the, and the American uh, Electronic Arts, are in the top 10. But if you look at the revenue, 100% uh, in the non-gaming uh, uh, apps are uh, uh, Chinese companies uh, with HQ in China. And it's the same in terms of revenue in the game games category. As we mentioned previously uh, with the panel, so uh, um, the equivalent of the GAFA uh, in China is the, 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 the BAT, or BAT, so Baidu, uh, Alibaba, and Tencent. They really uh, uh, um, you know, uh, drive the, the China's uh, uh, mobile industry. Uh, and uh, if, you want really, if you want to do business in China, in the mobile industry, you really have to partner with uh, one of these companies, or, 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 or all, with all the three companies, or, uh, or the subsidiaries. So uh, let's illustrate that with, again, we, sorry, because we, 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 we said that we won't talk too much about WeChat, but it's really difficult not to talk, not to talk about WeChat uh, when it comes to a, a mobile app uh, uh, economy in China. Uh, so WeChat, of course, is a powerful influencer in the Chinese app economy. Uh, it's the least uh, we can say. And uh, uh, I'm sure you, you all know the, uh, the WeChat uh, messaging app. And it's much more than uh, the WeChat messaging app. Uh, they really are, they, they, they really managed to, to, maybe they, maybe they, they, they found the ground of M commerce. Uh, and they managed to uh, provide the users with a lot of side services without uh, getting outside the app, you can uh, buy, uh, uh, you, you, you can do uh, uh, e-commerce, you can, you can uh, uh, do payments, you can uh, uh, see your bank accounts, you can uh, order uh, taxes, etc. That's really what they achieved and they really uh, are emblematic in how we can monetize 
and do business uh, within uh, an originally uh, messaging app. And uh, we, uh, so in, in, in 2015, 42 of the top 100 apps uh, in, uh, in revenue in China were distributed through WeChat, which is uh, really key in understanding how doing business over there. So let's see a few cases. Uh, um, actually, I've, I've got four. Uh, we selected four cases uh, to illustrate uh, how external company uh, managed to enter uh, the, the Chinese uh, market. The first one is um, a gaming company, the, one of the biggest in the world, Kings, and uh, number one in the world, really Candy Crush Saga. Uh, prior to partnering with WeChat, uh, they uh, managed to be around uh, number 80 or number 150 in terms of ranking of uh, uh, downloads uh, in China. And then they decided to partner with WeChat. And if you can see the result, it's pretty impressive. So um, from that, uh, they, they really uh, decided to uh, uh, develop their business through partnering with with WeChat. Second case is uh, Walmart. Uh, I'll have to I was uh, uh, They uh, decided to uh, enter the Chinese uh, uh, market uh, through uh, investing in a, one of the largest e-commerce uh, uh, startup in China. Sorry for the pronunciation. Uh, Yao Jian, uh, and uh, they decided to to take 51% uh, uh, of of the, the capital, and then to to buy to buy the company uh, totally to uh, develop their business. And if you see the, the top 10 in e-commerce, you see that Amazon, even with the, the, the tremendous power of Amazon, they only managed to be number 10, uh, and uh, Walmart is is uh, uh, at once number number nine. And it's going going to be. Uh, uh, probably uh, higher in the ranking. Case number three is Uber, and they decided to enter the Chinese market through uh, a, a, a partnering with Baidu uh, in terms of geolocalization. Uh, and also, they allow uh, users to pay directly with the Alipay, uh, which, which, is, which is also absolutely key in, in getting <laughs> a smooth user experience, uh, which is also another that I will have time to talk about that the user experience. Are, are, it is key into, into the, uh, uh, in, in, in the, the successing in, in every uh, mobile strategy. Last case is more, this one is also very interesting. It's not the same kind of partnering, but it's, it's uh, the idea was to be uh, sure that uh, there will be a user adoption. So uh, a big, big effort was made by Evernote on the localization. Uh, they, uh, and they achieved uh, a, a to be the 39th highest revenue generating app outside of games in China in January 2016, very recently. And they decided to change the, the name uh, to, uh, you know, to transfer the data center uh, uh, behind the, the Great Firewall in China to, to, to give and to provide users with a better uh, uh, experience. They also uh, put a lot of effort of providing uh, off offline uh, uh, experience uh, since the mobile uh, infrastructure is not uh, so expensive in, 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 uh, in China, is expensive in China. And also they, they ensure again the integration through WeChat. Uh, those four uh, um, cases, uh, we could have, could have selected more, uh, I think are very emblematic of how you should uh, think about your mobile strategy uh, when it comes to China, which is really uh, a, a specific. Okay, a, a quick wrap-up, 15 seconds. So we saw that app revenue and downloads are growing worldwide, and we forecast there will be more than doubling by 2020. Second point, we're seeing very, very rapid growth uh, in China's app economy, and it may soon overtake Japan in terms of revenue this year. Uh, third point, uh, the Chinese consumers are mobile first. Uh, it has been 
uh, illustrated uh, previously with the panel. But uh, that's really also key in understanding uh, how people behave, especially the young generation. That will create a, a lot of opportunities in terms of new usage. Uh, and the last point uh, is that localization is absolutely key in successing <laughs> in your um, uh, app uh, strategy together with uh, choosing a good partner. Uh, and I think I'm a little bit late for the question and answer, but if you've got some questions, I would be happy to, to answer. We have about one minute left, but are there any... Uh Oh, I thought, that, uh, I thought it was red, so I thought uh, <laughs> it was uh, One and a half minutes, so we have a question here. I'm here. And I would like to know, you have mentioned right now that there is a success factor um, to enter into the app uh, industry in China would be to partner one of the big three partners that you have there, like for example, Alibaba. And I assume that would be if you want to monetize your experience. What would be the key success factor if you don't need to monetize the experience? Yeah, that's a good, very good question because I talk a lot about uh, monetizing revenue, etc. Uh, of course, uh, I think it would be very interesting to, to, to hear about uh, Bin Gao, about how, for example, uh, AXA is going to develop their, their business over there because they are not interested in uh, monetizing. And it's also one of our main objectives in. Uh, uh, um, you know, uh, following the absolutely for the, the corporate company. So, uh, of course, uh, I think you have to be even if you don't monetize at the first purpose. You have, but you have to to to, to be very aware about what are the best practices uh, uh, in uh, outside your own business. Of course, I think it, I hope it would be possible to to do business over there without going absolutely through these uh, three uh, big uh, uh, mastodons. Uh, but uh, again, the, 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 the one of the key is to understand the uh, uh, um, um, you know, uh, user's behavior. Because uh, when it comes to uh, revenue uh, or using an app, um, at the end of the day, the, uh, they are the same people. Uh, you can be uh, in the same day uh, looking at your bank account or uh, or at your uh, insurance policy, uh, but also you can you can you can buy uh, some uh, uh, goods uh, in your and uh, commerce store. Um, but of course, we have some large, also large uh, corporate uh, companies who are doing business uh, in the mobile industry without uh, going through these uh, partners.